single game mode. And even guys like Nova, who I think has like the number one uplink KD at the event. So the talent is there, but when you're playing against these pro teams and you're not quite used to it, the speed can just kind of catch you off guard. Uh, but again, at their best, they can definitely hang. They actually knocked out Envy back at Anaheim. So we know they're very capable. They just need to show up. Uh, and so far, though, First one's in the hills. Boos able to pick up two, and they get a little bit of control. Yeah, solid kills from the, uh, from the openers there. We're watching Scrap's perspective to begin this one, and he got two. But he's going to be taken down now. Spoof grabbing the time for his team. That's going to be 13 points and climbing now for Allegiance. Fnatic yet to get on the board, and man, they're being held at bay by an incredibly defiant Allegiance, not letting anything get through. And again, Fnatic push back on spawn, and they're back into the, sp back into the death screen for a couple more seconds now as Allegiance racking up them points. Yeah, and interestingly enough, in the last series, we actually got a look at this map for a touch as well, and it was Ghost Gaming where I think they pretty much just won off of the lower street hill, and of course, that's when we're going to next, and Allegiance is going into it with a 41 to nothing lead, but uh, again, if one team can sort of just blow another team out of the water, even on a hill like this, uh, there's a lot of potential. Still though, Fnatic, they're going to use Lower Street to try and get back into this game. Lower Street, it's going to be Fnatic's hard point so far, but here comes a big push. Tommy in position to slow this one down very closely. Edges out the battle there against Nova, helping himself and his team acquire a little bit more points. 40 seconds now left on Lower Street, and so far Fnatic finally able to get some points on the board here. Legion Stone, desperate to get back into this one. They are currently holding the favorable spawns for the next rotation. But we'll see how long that lasts. They've got a break into this one, and again, Tommy doing a wonderful job by the rest of his team and keeping the other members of Allegiance at bay over on the plat side, just to the center of the minimap. And again, they're winning those engagements. So while Tommy's been brought down, the rest of the team can flip over, take care of that player on the hard point, and continue to get this time. This is wonderful work from Fnatic so far. Yeah, I mean, there you go. It was from hill to hill, just brutal beatdown into a separate brutal beatdown. But Fnatic, again, lower street, you can get a substantial amount of time, as evidenced by the score. They were able to get 50, make it 51 points on that hill. Still, though, it has been a back and forth game. Teams have not been able to break through the defensive setups of teams in control of the hill. And, and Believe's trying to do the exact same thing on the defensive side. He's able to pick up two kills. Spoof, though, he's going to get gunned from inside the hill. Uh, and that's going to be an opening right now. Tommy trying to get inside, of course. He has the NV4, and he's got two players. So tough spot for him, but he's wasting his time. His teammates are coming from market, and it might be a feasible situation. Mayhem, though, going big, but just for a moment. Fnatic able to break through. Close but no cigar there for Tommy. He managed to creep on through, but wasn't able to actually do too much about that one. Sunny B now. He's holding onto the hard point, trying to make his way up into that higher end of the scores. Scraps finally get a couple of kills there on Nova. And as you can see, working out nicely for him as he continues this run. Fnatic now finally in the lead. Chance. Things are kind of looking up for the Brits. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where they were able to break through on the hill, and, and now they have a similar situation where they're going to be trying to do, uh, well, the exact same thing over by Broken. Nova, though, he's going to be inside, and you see he's just trying to focus on making sure he can keep those back spawns. Fnatic, of course, got plenty of time to work with, and they still have that 24-point lead. Nova now holding back. See if he can't make a bit of an action happen. This is Wuskins. He's been trying to find that hole, and as he pushes on through, Tommy gets the first kill. Sunny B finds a second as well. Two for Tommy. And that is going to be a very clean entry for Fnatic. They only lost one player in that entire engagement. And now Spoof is going to back up. He's hoping to get a little bit of a different angle. He's got his teammates now back off spawn. Two of them now making their way through. But they are going to run into a brick wall of Fnatic defense. Their setups have been so solid so far. Chance. Big chunks of time in each of the last few hard points. And it doesn't look any different here at Destroyed Building. They've just cracked over 100. Things are certainly looking a little tricky for Allegiance. But I'm not counting them out yet. There's a lot of t a lot of gas left in that tank. Well, this is just huge for Fnatic, honestly, though. I mean, what was it? Allegiance got 41 points on just the first hill. And since then, it's been about 115 to 20 swing. Of course, ALG, they're going to be able to get that scrap time. But uh, on three, really, well, the biggest hills on the map, uh, it was nothing but Fnatic. If they get control of it early, they'd never really get broken. And if they give up the control, well, they break through without too much difficulty. Uh, of course, though, moving into the hallway, maybe Allegiance can kind of shine here again and try and, you know, get some points on the board. But it's definitely not going to be an easy situation. You see Nova, he just feels the pressure coming in. He gets out of the hill and then just gets shot in the back for free. So Fnatic, again, they just break through with ease. Easy peasy. A 125 now to 81. Fnatic in the lead. No changes to any E-Rads here for this final hotel hallway. Only 30 seconds remaining on this one, but Spoof's making it work with a K-Bar, and again on the turn, does a lot of damage there as his teammate cleans up. That's all four dead for Fnatic. This is a chance for Allegiance now to get some points on the board. 20 seconds left here in hotel hallway, and they're going to be cleaning these as cleanly as they possibly can. 
This is Spoof now watching that back end. Lovely use of the nade there. Actually, takes care of believing Sunny B. Unfortunately, took care of Scraps with his uh, with his Scarab in the background. So that's going to be slowing down the push from Fnatic. Still within 30 points now. Allegiance hot on the heels of the boys in yellow. Well, it was one of those things where I, I never honestly realized this until just now. I think I like always knew, but never really paid much attention to the fact that when an enemy shoot or when you shoot an enemy scarab and you get a kill with it, it doesn't award you with the kill. You get the points for showing the scarab, but I don't know. It, it just looks weird in the kill feed, but that is not technically a uh, team kill. Although I guess if you call him a scarab, I don't know. Different discussion for a different day. You don't get the points. That's why it sucks because you did all yeah, the hard work like there, you, right? You got the, You technically got the kill for it, but I, I don't know. Just something to I don't know. Think about in the back of your mind. Either way, though. The Bridge Hill, this is where Allegiance, well, they got off to a huge lead the first time. They're trying to get some time here once again, and, well, Spook's going to be that guy because he came on the flank. Yes, Luskin shuts him down, but Luskin's kind of by himself, and he's just flying at the opponent, and he's flying into death as well. Uh, still, though, Fnatic, you see that was actually Luskin's doing a nice job as the distraction, and that's going to give Fnatic, well, uh, just a little bit of hill time. <laughs> Somehow managed to break back into this one. Once again, Tommy has been an absolute superstar for Fnatic. Doing wonderful work, big shots, losing that fight thanks to what I can only call the lampshade. The chandelier kind of cost him that one. Ah, well, Jeb Hacker's really going to do. Don't worry, boots on the ground. Just around the corner. Here we go. Allegiance definitely getting back in this one. Within 20 points now of Fnatic. One to one at this stage. Scraps. Get those kills. Get things going. Nice use of the nade there to uh, slow, slow things down. Bike shop now. He's chasing this player down. Does have a bit of help from Wuskins. Twins, eh? Mayhem just got taken down by Twins. Some men pay a lot of money for that. He got it for free. Well, you know. Got to make some money as well. Again, this is one of those $10,000 matches, right? So you can afford a lot of things uh, if you're able to win this match successfully. Either way, though, once again, on that lower street hill, uh, it has been Fnatic that have just, you know, kind of flexed and showed their dominance on it. But, uh, again, Graveyard, this is where things get kind of worrisome for me. If I'm ALG, uh, they don't have the spawns for it right now. And last time around, they were not able to break through at all. And if they're not successful on breaking through this setup, it might just very well decide the game for them. Here we go. So this has been a pretty solid run for Allegiance, though. I mean, Lower Street wasn't so successful in the first rotation, but the second time round, way more pro profitable, let's say, for them. Spoof just picks up a kill with his Trinity, so that's going to open things up. We're going to kick this one through as he's pushing on. Believe does have a bit of help, does tag a teammate, but no worries. There's plenty of bodies now moving on towards Fnatic's hard point. Oh, he's caught outside the map there for a moment. Believe he's going to find his way back in there, and they're going to get the kills. Still, Fnatic just on the outskirts of the hard point in this stage. Nova is going to kill Sunny B, and Spoof comes in from behind to take care of Scraps. Believe, though, he's watching the back end. No excitement for him just yet, but the rest of his teammates are doing a great job. Again, if he drops now, the flank opens up, and they'll be able to be hit from the side. So still doing his job as best he can. Sunny B, lovely long-range kill there on Spoof. They're desperate to get back in this one. Allegiance are within inches of taking the lead here from Fnatic. Well, Believe's trying to make a big play right now. You see he's not even taking the gunfight. So what he was doing, actually, if that player hadn't turned around, he was just going to take the one-on-one -on -one and try and get the scrap time. Has the opportunity here. Least needs to contest for a few moments, and it looks like he might just very well get cleaned up. And no, Blair actually turns around, and of the K-Bar, so Scraps not aggressive enough, and that might very well punish him, because you can see, he instantly is calling in that Trinity Rock. He calls out, yo, man, there's a player in bar, there's a player in the next hill, and there's a player on the underneath side of the bridge. So his teammates have the information. They got to get the big kills, and you see, that might have been just a complete wasted streak. You might have wanted that for bridge. Now, again, situation, ALG. They got to get the break. Interesting to see he was still unable to kill Sunny B there, who was on the hard point, picking up those points. Broken from the roof and the doorway, so you could have snuck that rocket in there, but still didn't manage to make it work. This is Scraps getting the time, 34 seconds left here on this hard point. Fnatic, they're not going to be able to win it here. We will be seeing another one, but if ALG can get in on this, slow down the bleeding. They've got to get some pressure onto that wound because Fnatic are slowly walking away with this one. Mayhem coming in from behind. He's got two players above him. Can he get one or two? He hasn't identified them. There's three now. That's a surprise to him. And he has been taken out handedly there. Fnatic now 30 points away from the win here in this series. Yeah, Fnatic just won all the gunfights. And again, it is going to be a, a relatively easy road for them. It's a situation where ALG, it's not just that they need the points, but they basically have to let their opponent, they got to play keep away, right? They just can't let him inside because that score is oh so close. Just 21 more points before this game is over. And Wuskins, well, he was on that four streak. He's going to fall. And ALG doing a decent job to pick up some kills. 
See Tommy getting a bit aggressive as well, trying to push out, but Believe, again, inside the hill. ALG, desperate times, call for desperate measures. They gotta go crazy. Oh, Believe, he has no idea there's a play directly, Believe. Here it is, tags up that player. Unfortunately, Scraps not able to get around the back shield, didn't do too much to help him there. Top shots from Believe, unable to get another one here. Almost catching Tommy there, but putting that, just that crouch behind the windowsill, turning him to such a difficult target to hit, a very awkward angle. And Tommy will be brought down eventually, but that's 235 to 195 Allegiance now. They're back in with a shot. But Sunny B watching that half right now. It's a long angle. He's going to be able to take care of players who come in through the hotel hallway. And he's also watching the rear. And this is a perfect position to be in. He's managed to get those kills. And he's got Tommy in front of him to help him out. That's two for Tommy and for Sunny B. This could be, oh no, it's going to be another hard point after this. We're going to live to fight another day. But it's very, very close. 246. Next rotation is going to be key. And ALG, if they have to get in at least to contest, and you see Nova's going to be able to do just that. Picks up one, turns for the second, has teammate support, but again, two points away. They can't let the enemy touch the hill, and he's falling into Scarab. He's able to get a kill with it as well. Uh, again, that is uh, risky to do when players are so close nearby, but hey, first time around, they held it down for a full 40. If they can do it again, they can win this game. Of course, I think it might go to lower street, but still, Fnatic, they got one player on the flank. That's going to be Sunny B. Easily could do some damage. He's able to pick up one kill, and now that's just going to be free. He's going to pick up both as well. Mayhem and Spoof, though, coming up big. They got to win the gunfights, and Mayhem and Spoof each able to pick up two to keep the game alive, keeping Fnatic just one point away. But again, Fnatic, they can do whatever they want. They can go to Lower Street. They can push the next hill. ALG, there's so many things to worry about. They can't leave the hill because it's just one second, but they have to get to Lower Street as well. The kill's getting traded back and forth. Fnatic inside at least contesting. Mayhem, though, again, able to pick up two on the four streak. The hill's going to rotate, though. Who's going to get there in time? ALG, no one is there close enough. Sunny B laying down, and that is going to be your game. Sunny B, he rotated early to Low Street like... Yeah, 15 seconds ago, like he was really playing for the win. He put himself in bike shop, he put himself out of harm. He knew that the fight was going down on bridge, and if they managed to get, if they, if they somehow won the fight there, they win it, no worries. Sunny B had a plan B, and that is fantastic heads up play from him. And you saw ALG, they were super close to contesting it, and there was two players there. So if by some chance they left a split second earlier and made it in there, they could have contested, they could have killed him, and they could have kept that crazy comeback going. But Incredible stuff though, regardless. What an opener to this series. Fnatic looking very, very, very strong indeed. But SD chance. What happens now? Well, what happens now is Fnatic at one point were the best SD team in the game. Uh, they're then doing pretty well on it as well. I think Wuskins, he might be one of the best SD players in the world, if not the best. Honestly, he's had some crazy things. Even this weekend, he pulled off like a 1v4 kind of insane. Uh, clutch, but that was on Crusher, but uh, I don't know. I, I think it's honestly going to be an interesting game. You even saw towards the end, like I think it was Mayhem and Spoof, each of them just picking up two kills apiece and Mayhem doing the same thing on the next wave of kills. So they're obviously capable, again, of making big plays like that, but uh, obviously a, a very difficult road ahead. I, I mean, Fnatic is not going to be an easy opponent for really many teams at all. Uh, they can definitely be dangerous. Uh, and interesting to see what they can bring to the table on map number two. Here we go to map number two. It's exciting to see Tommy. He He's played the long game with his team, picking up three youngsters, three kids who he thought would be superstars at some point in their careers. And so far, so good. They're here at COD Champs, and they're up by one in the winner's bracket. Yeah, and then speaking of Tommy, he's probably actually one of the main reasons why. I know I kind of pipe Weskins up of being a fantastic player, but Tommy's kind of the backbone of the team for Search and Destroy because uh, he's kind of taken on those flank responsibilities. On just about every map, you can dedicate one person to watching the flank. Uh, as long as, of course, you know, Crusher, you know, you always play together, stuff like that. Uh, but he's the guy that he, his responsibility is to make the plays, right? Uh, he's the guy that's supposed to read his opponent, figure out their weaknesses, and then try to expose them as much as possible. And so Tommy, uh, just trying to keep an eye on him this game, on what he's doing on the flank, whether or not he's just passively watching it and getting up kills, or, or playing aggressive and trying to watch the cuts that he's able to make and weaving his way through the enemy team. Uh, either way, though, uh, I mean, the box score just it, it tells the story. Yeah, speaking of Tommy, I mean, 26 kills for his team, wonderful work. He was hitting those flanks very, very hard. But wow, I mean, look at Bridge Hardpoint, the Legions. I think the main reason why it's 105 uh, up against Fnatic was that last Bridge Hardpoint we saw in the second rotation where, you know, we had Fnatic sitting at 147 or 149 for a while. That was an incredible hold there from Legions. When their backs were against the wall, when it really, really meant it, they did an incredible job of making that happen again. If they could have brought that same tenacity, that same vigor, holding on to the hard point with such defiance, if they could have done that at the beginning of the series, or was the beginning of the map, sorry, it would have been a very, very different story. But still, they've got a whole more 
maps to play for. S and D again. It's going to be a tough run. Tommy's playing that hot in the respawn game types. So you can only assume that he's going to be bringing the thunder then in the S and D as well. Still keen to see how ALG can respond. You can see the players on your screen. Everyone's looking pretty chill. Everyone's looking pretty cool about this. Ready to get into this one. Of course, the stage very beautiful and spacey, as you can see. Chance we've got stars in the background because we're in space for this COD. That's the deal. That's actually why it's there. I'm, you, yeah, look out there. There's. There's stars and all sorts, it's beautiful and spacey. And here we go, kicking this one off, Allegiance versus Fnatic game number two. It's gonna be Search and Destroy on Crusher. Uh, this is uh, either like the best or the worst defensive strategy I think I've seen. I have zero idea what their game plan is here. They decided to give up both A and B. I'm gonna have to imagine that something is going wrong for one of these, no, that's, that's legit? What kind of? idea is that okay well they it's gave up the fake. bomb for free now they're just trusting their ability to retake and you see the way the players are stacking nova is going to read it out has an end before and he's going to be next to a player spoop is there for the assistance and a team kill comes in spoop though he's going to fall off the map so uh, i guess a bit of breathing room here for fanatic if they can make a play what is happening i don't know <laughs> what is happening and how how is it even possible that fanatic almost won that they got the spoof killed himself they got at least one kill out of it how is that even possible? What just happened? I thought somebody had a controller issue, but in the end it was like, everybody hide, let's let them do what they want to do, and then let's just surprise them. We're just going to jump out of the bushes and hope that this works out. I, I don't think that's a good start. Uh, we piped them up as being good at search, and then we actually thought that a player had something wrong. That was how that, weird dude. that strat was, that we literally thought something was wrong. That strat was too good. That it was so above and beyond our level of thinking, our level of comprehension, that we can't even pick it apart, Chance. That's the only way I've got to, I've got to see this one go down. Round two looks a little bit more normal, let's face it. So far, Mayhem getting uh, an early kill there on Tommy. Sunny B's got bomb for Fnatic as they're attacking this time. And this is a very, very aggressive start from Allegiance. They're charging on through in a big way. Wuskins managed to get the kill on Mayhem though, so we're gonna tie things up at 1-1. This is 3v3 right now. Sunny B making his way in. Well, yeah, players are just like running past each other right now. Of course, I believe comes out on top, which is nice, but he is gonna get traded. But all six players right there were within like five, ten feet of each other, and I guess it just took him a second to figure it out. Either way, though, Nova up top, that's an easy gun fight for him. The player's inside, Scraps is going to be one shot, and you see because of it, he's just going to go and get out of dodge. You got a 1v1 situation, Nova versus Scraps. Bomb is down. Oh, this is incredible. He knows the bomb's there. Nova's watching it. Scraps now knows that Nova can see him, and it's a moment where he's got to take the jump. Oh, the timing is perfect. Scraps got the bomb, and he's made his way through. Now, this is going to force Nova into a position. He has to quickly get in there, quickly deal the damage, but the bomb is going to go down with 20 seconds on the clock. So now, Nova, depending on the entrance he takes, and depending on where Scraps is watching, this is huge! What a kill from Nova! He manages to make that one work. He looked left, he looked right, he crossed the street, and he made it to the other side without any problem winning that fight. Great round from Allegiance. Yeah, I, I mean, the story of that round ultimately concludes with a 1v1, but even the start of it, we talked about Tommy on the flank. Well, he pushed up incredibly aggressively mid-map, and, and he just got caught out. And then you're fighting from a 4v3. Fnatic, it, it was a very difficult situation. I, I appreciate what Scraps did, though. He was weak, and the player obviously knew where he was, and he said, screw it, I'm just going to play it. I, I don't think you'll check. I have the confidence to win this. Of course, it doesn't work out in the end, but uh, again, those are the play calls that you can appreciate seeing. Uh, decisive. He made the decision very, very quickly. He didn't teeter on it. He didn't tiptoe around the situation. He made the call and he stuck with it. And it could have worked out. If that gunfight had gone either way, that would have been a great round win for Fnatic. But still, this is Allegiance now on offense and Scraps right in behind. Wins the 1v1 against Mayhem. He's now got the perfect pinch ready on those players from Allegiance. They're caught in the kill box right now. Both sets of Fnatic players, two on two, either side. They're spreading this one out and they're gonna be able to pinch any moment now. Scraps though, not in a great position with his ERAD on the other side of the map to make this work, but here comes the push. Tommy and Co. making their way through. Wuskins goes through, Sunny B gets dropped. And now Spoof, he's backed up, he's rotated. He might be able to put himself in a position to make this work. Oh. Nova got two in the background and that was all on Scraps. And, and that just completely fell apart for Fnatic and that's just not okay. Of course, this is the bomb carrier taking the gunfight, so. He's going to wait for his teammates to come up and Scraps. He's just getting hunted down. Even if he picks up one, that's going to be it. But really, that fell apart. So Fnatic gets the first blood on the flank, and you called it out perfectly. Like, they're in the kill box. They're all stuck. And the players, they, they got called out by Fnatic. They saw them cross over to Garage. But Sunny B, either because they left them by himself or if he just, you know, choked the gunfight, whatever happened to him, he was stuck by himself in at least, like, what, a one versus three. They should have trapped the players in better, but they gave him an out. And once they kill Sunny B, well, now they don't have to worry about being trapped in anymore. So uh, again, Fnatic, they just kind of collapsed in the end there. So ALG looking nice. 
Fnatic, though, looking to strike back, headed over towards that V-bomb site. Here we go. This is going to be a head-on collision. Hope they're wearing the seatbelts. Wuskin's going in high, and he's made it all the way. No one's been seen. Trophy system down low. Bomb's going to get planted. I don't believe anybody from Fnatic uh, did put down a trophy system. That was Believes, that, uh, I believe. <laughs> Got the pick up there. Bomb's gone down. Here comes the retake. It's so aggressive. Trades out. Believe's got to make something work here. Nate, they going to be doing their thing, but not another kill just yet. Shots out. Oh, wow. Believe so aggressive. So unnecessary. Mayhem comes in. That was very sloppy from Allegiance. I, I felt like they knew it was all going to go down, and instead of taking their time and, and doing that a little smarter, maybe hitting the flanks instead, it kind of just trickled in. There was a tap one by one, and it didn't really work out. And the positioning from Scraps, they had every angle covered. Yeah, and, and I think the main factor there for Fnatic was Wuskins. He was kind of laying down. I don't even know what to call that little edge of, like, the wall run, that like little lip. It's block sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. That he was hiding behind that little lip, and obviously they knew there was a player in craze. They were focused on him. Wuskins getting some easy kills. But, uh, again, Fnatic at the very least able to get on the board right now, though a lot of aggression towards A. Sunny B is going to turn and run, but he's got two players over by you that are kind of stuck. And now Tommy, well, he's going to fall because he just got completely bombarded. Sunny B's out the back, and, well, Spoof got a little bit over aggressive, so... It's going to be evened up to a three versus three, but still, that just be a little bit of a shaky situation there, which Fnatic able to put themselves in an okay spot in the end. Both teams backing up, licking their wounds. They have to make something work here. Scraps going six and three right now. Tommy with no kills. We gassed him up before this one, talking about how sick he is at S&D. <laughs> he's not really bringing the noise. He had a great hard point, but he's not exactly doing his thing here on the S&D now. Bomb is now making its way back and away. They've double backed on themselves. Scraps may catch wind of this, and if he does, it could be a couple of easy kills. You can see Fnatic defensively quite well spread. They've got a lot of angles, but no way of knowing it's going down at A. Now Scraps, he needs to make these entry kills very, very clean indeed. Oh, and the trap is sprung from the outside. If he times this well, it could be two. He hasn't timed it well enough, and he's going to get caught now. Scraps' potential here is huge, but the timing was just off by milliseconds. Sunny B and Scraps. Versus Mayhem and Nova. 30 seconds left until the bomb explodes. Well, they're going to have to push him out, right? The bomb is planted where they can see. You see they're about to make their move as well. The e rad coming in from you. They see they're opening. They're both making their move. Players backing up. Nova, he's able to win the first one. He's got the K-Bar. Second player challenging. Coming over top. He's challenging the two-on-one. Or actually, when I say two-on-one, I think the other player is back in the spawn. But it doesn't matter. Nova OP. He's putting his team up four to one. But uh, again, another solid round where even when it's chaotic, just for a moment, uh, it seems like ALG sees a lot of success. Oh, I feel bad for the Fnatic on that round. I feel like they had a solid position. They had guys on the outside of the bomb site. They had Scraps watching the doorway from mid. And if the timing were a couple of seconds better, they could have pinned those two players. You know, as soon as the gunfight went down outside, those players ran back indoors. And if Scraps were in position, he could have cleaned them both up comfortably. But he just came in a little too late and didn't quite work out for him now. On to the next round. And here we go. As you can see, through the eyes of... What I believe is Wuskins. I was about to say, <laughs> I, I, I believe our, uh, our our driver ended up timing out. So we'll get the Fnatic perspective on this. But here's a problem. Yeah, I really don't know if that's Scraps or Wuskins. We have to wait for him to live or die. Uh, and it looks like Wuskins actually just fell, I believe, in the kill feed. So uh, this is going to be Scraps from our perspective. Fortunately, he's got some really big earphones on. He, so he I can't even see the man count right now. <laughs> well, you can't hear what we're saying either way. He's just been taken down there. So this is still looking like a pretty solid round for Allegiance. But hey, that may be a 1v1. And again, if Allegiance win this one, that is, and it's over. This is going to be map point for Allegiance. I wonder if we get an Allegiance perspective from this one. Guys, as you can tell, there has been a technical issue. We uh, have lost a our driver momentarily, but I can assure you we'll get back into that one as soon as we can. Final round, potentially, for Allegiance here. This would be a fantastic way for them to get back into the series, expecting wholeheartedly that they would have taken the respawn. And we was praising Fnatic's S&D play, and they have fallen incredibly short, like massively disappointingly short here against ALG. Well, this is going to be Nova's perspective that we're watching from. They got the two stack over at the A bomb site, uh, and of course, this is going to be Nova that's not only watching mid map but also worried about the flank as well. He has a teammate stacked over by B, uh, and you can see the teammates making the rotation, but someone left an opening just a little bit too soon. I think that was Spoof, but well, he's going to be able to pick up all three of the players anyway. He lets them by just to kill him himself. So hey, if you're going to give up a cut, you got to come up big. Spoof is going to be able to pick up three. Uh, so again, ALG. So here's what I was going to try and talk about a little bit. You know, we talked about Fnatic, how at one point they were one of the best, if not the best, S&D teams in the game. Obviously, it's a, a long way since that's been the case, but they're obviously, well, not obviously, but they have been pretty good in the game mode anyways. But 
here's the thing. W when you play S&D or practice S&D, you don't really scrim it online because you don't want to give away your strats. So a lot of these teams, they only show things off like at the main events. And, and at these events, you know, Fnatic spend in the Pro League, they're only getting practice against other Pro League teams. Uh, you kind of learn the tendencies of these other players. Well, ALG, I'd have to imagine this is the absolute first time that they have ever played these guys, right? Like you can't watch any game film on them. You can't get any feel for what they do. Yeah. So uh, in certain situations, you'd see a lot of times that the upsets happen in search and destroy for quote unquote the well the underdog teams being able to beat the other guys but uh, either way that's going to tie our series up at one to one yeah so far so good for both teams the hard point was a convincing win for the boys on Fnatic and then it fell to absolute disaster where ALG took it 6-1 all this excitement has got me giddy so we're going to take a quick break and we'll see you in just a few moments Welcome back to the 2017 CWL Championships presented by PlayStation 4. Here we go in game three. This is Allegiance versus Fnatic. You've got Chance and Miles spewing in your ears. It's 1-1 tied up in the series so far. We're about to go into uplink and Chance, you've got a stat about Nova, which uh, could spell doom for Fnatic fans. Uh, best uplink KD uh, at this entire event so far. Uh, of course, I know a lot of times players like to liken the group play stages as like, you know, pub stomping to a degree. But uh, again, it's absolutely nothing to shake your head at. Uh, he's able to get the first blood. He's leading the charge as well. And well, this is poised to be a score, but you see Nova, he's cleared out the sub base side and they're pushing the drone up the other. But Nova, he was able to pick up a kill and there you go. He's going to be able to get his team a dunk. So Allegiance. Definitely some uh, prowess here in Uplink. Woohoo! That's how you start the game in the first 30 seconds. You get a ton of kills and a dunk. Yeah, things are looking good for Allegiance. Fnatic now. They've got to answer back. This is Spoof getting tagged, but he's still maintaining mid position. He got a lot of presence there. Drones just been grabbed by Fnatic, but it was going to be all for naught as Mayhem ends up rubbing out scraps. A lovely two piece there on Sunny B. And there you go. Mayhem picking up some nice kills as well. And there's the full team wipe that he got. Scraps coming back, though. Able to win one gunfight. Going to slow him down. But, of course, that drone carrier armor. A little bit too strong at times. 
So now you got Mayhem again. He just picked up two earlier. This man is on a five streak. I'd slow down. Bait your teammates out. Play for streaks. Here we go. Mayhem making the run. Somebody ran past him, but thank God he had teammates to help. Because here we go. He's got his running shoes on, and he may be able to make this one forward. But oh, wow. Fnatic holding on. Dear life. Mayhem, though, pinning down Wooston in the corner there and clearing him out. The second one there on Tommy. But Scrap's coming through. Two players from Fnatic. That was a seven streak for Mayhem. Seven and O oh to begin the game, helping his team get a dunk. And now, with a minute past, things are still looking up. Here comes Fnatic on the offensive. And I've just realized why he gave me the look when I said rubbing out. It's the same. We use the word rubber for an eraser in the UK. My bad. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> we use the word rubber for something different as well. Either way, though, Believe going to go over top for that one-point shot. And you see the Trinity Rocket getting called in as well. Again, uh, when you got a guy mayhem that starts out 7-0, you earn the Trinities. And obviously, that can give you uh, a pretty interesting thing to use. A, a lot of times, they like to kill the enemy. But sometimes, they say, hey, I'll just kill my teammate because, you know, this is what we do. Cod Champs 2017, the uh, Cod Champs of Trinity Rocket Friendly Fire. There's been plenty of that. Here we go, Tommy. This is a fanatic now trying to get on the board. They've got presence in mid. Although Tommy is just pretty much surrounded on all sides. Gets cut down by Mayhem. And Nova not disappointed so far. Actually, he's gone 5-5. Five five. He was on a two streak. He still has the most kills or the highest KD in Uplink so far. And it is being put to work. As you can see, his team doing excellent stuff so far. I believe he's going 7-2. and two. Currently on a two streak. Mayhem now running on forward. He doesn't have any support. And he will be cut down instantly by Sunny B. That's a two piece for him. And now with that kill landed. Fnatic now will be able to make a run forward. Nova, though, with his positioning, doesn't manage to make it work out for himself. Which is what an opening that would have been. Tommy's been shut down, and it's a little back and forth between both teams right now. It's kind of scrappy. It's kind of uh, off the cuff. These guys are trying to make stuff work without much concerted effort as a group. And until we can get that, we're not going to see any points. Well, the, the problem for me right now is, well, uh, Fnatic may be able to make a move here, but uh, frankly, it's just Sunny B again. We kind of talked about it a bit before. Well, if he's not picking up kills, they're not going to be able to get anything done. But here we go. He's finally able to pick up two on a streak. Believe, though, when that drone gets reset, he was able to pick up two once again, and now that drone is just gone. He's going to be able to at least attempt that one-point shot, but instead he's going to double back, go to his teammates, and, well, this might not work out, at least not for the moment. You see, there's a lot of... Yellow arrows stuck up around connector. Yeah, they're all over the drone right now. There's no way they're going to let that one slide without a bit of bloodshed. And Scraps is going to be killing Mayhem and moving that one back. Believe is going to be on, is back on respawn. And this is Tommy and Fnatic moving forward. Four plays through mid. Believe actually is the only player who's he's overextended at the stage. And unless he can get some kills or do something out of this, he's well out of position. This is Mayhem. Trying to slow down the drone push and scraps. The kills are happening up front. Sunny B gets killed. The throw doesn't manage to make it out there. So despite the fact that they had a player well out of position, Allegiance managing to hold on to that. Yeah, no, I mean, thank God for Mayhem. The guy's 13 and 6. He picked up the two-piece to save any points coming in at the end. But yeah, you're exactly right. Believe had a, a life that lasted 45 seconds to a minute, and he got absolutely nothing out of it. Just kind of wasted a bunch of time. Uh, either way, though, they're not going to get punished for it as ALG once again back on the attack. They are constantly just having someone kind of in the spawn of their opponent. You see, this time it was Spook. No was trying to follow him up. And, well, again, maybe a little bit too far away that they're straying from their teammates because they're not able to put anything together. Like, if you're in their spawn and you can pick up kills, that's great. But if you're not, it, no one's there to trade anything out for you. So. Speaking of trades, Fnatic trying to find a space here. They're taking a lot of damage. No... You know, real you know, presence being grabbed here. 20 seconds remaining here in the first half, and Allegiance 3-0. I feel like it could have been a hell of a lot more. A couple of decisions made have cost them a few points, but this could be a potential run here. The drone has just been reset there by Fnatic, so there will not be any last-minute scores here in the first half. But three is not a score that Allegiance really wanted to have going into this one. It could have been a lot larger if it not for the defensive plays of Fnatic, and here we go. That's the whistle. Sides will be swapped, and we'll get back into it in a sec. Right, and then again, the story of, well, you know, for the better part of the year, at least for me, for Fnatic, is they're kind of like a tier two team, but uh, again, a lot of potential there to take maps and take series off of the top teams, but it seems like a lot of time, especially in the respawns, there's one guy that's just kind of lagging behind, and they kind of take turns as that role and never really have those great team performances. When they do, though, they just win, and they look like, you know, world beaters, but, uh, you know, at the start of this game, Sonny B, he starts off 0-6, and obviously they fell themselves down 2 to nothing. Since then, he's gone just about even and it's been a much closer game but they just really can't afford not at this stage to have any one player that just doesn't show up even for part of the map yeah sunny b only lagging behind a slight in this uh, matchup so far but as you can see 30 seconds into it and it's a heavily contested mid map at this stage spoof doing his best to hang on there mayhem just coming in at the last second and helping him out and this is going to allow spoof to get his runners on and start covering some ground 
He doesn't have too much help aside from Mayhem right next to him. Actually, Nova, I take it back. And Nova's doing the best he can of the kills. But over the top, that was Sunny B picking up kills. The drone is going to be reset as he was killed there on the wall run. And that is going to push back Allegiance for the time being. Here come Fnatic off spawn. They are going to be hitting each other in the sub bay. And that fight for mid is going to be absolutely crucial. And so far, so good for Allegiance. Believe picking up one. Tommy B and S Tommy and Sunny B picking up ones of their own. Wuss skins just being embarrassed there by Spoof. And he's got the drone now. And this is a big play potential there for the run to happen. There are two going through sub. He's going to be hitting the wall run as well. Sunny B's got to stop him. He gets one. Can he find a second? Pre-fire gets caught from behind. Spoof. FTL pass to himself. Up and over. He misses. Oh, you did everything right, and then you choked in the end. And again, that's just that's one of those things that can't happen. He's trying to get fancy, uh, and, and it would have been a, a very impressive hero play. And well, now they don't even have the payload for a better situation. But he didn't only did that, or almost did that, excuse me, in about a, a one versus three situation. Then you just you choke the throw. Either way, though, Fnatic they're going to be looking to take full advantage. Waskin's there to pick up two scraps. The twin is able to get that third, and this might very well be points. Scraps, if he can just slow down a little bit and wait for his teammates, they might be able to pick up some kills. And there you go. Tommy gets one, gives the clearance, and well, not enough kills were picked up. That is three players that were ready for the interception. Three players ready for the interception, and then an easy team wipe for Allegiance. I'm still reeling, man, after that play from Spoof. It was so flash, only to choke it at the end. Anyway. Uh, live and let live. Here we go, Spoofy trying to uh, trying to make something work here. He's, he's running around mid and sub bay as he is going to be taken out there. That's another team wipe actually. Mayhem now moving the drone forward. This is potential for a dunk. That's a big kill from Believe. His teammates grabbed it. It's a dunk. Spoof gets it in. That's to 5 nil now for Allegiance. There's two minutes 30 left on the clock. Fnatic have got to do something special to get out of this situation. Otherwise, they're going down two to one. Yeah, great passing as well. Uh, again, ALG, we kind of talked about it. Their positioning is always good. Their teamwork is good. The one thing that might be a struggle is just their lack of practice with the pacing of some of these teams. But uh, really, uh, I mean, they've been getting practice this entire event. They go through group play, get a handful of matches. So they're looking good. Wuskins, though. He's the player that's been known to make some waves for himself. He's able to pick up three, and there you go. This is a chance that Fnatic needs. This is the opening that they have. They got five points that they're down by, two minutes left. It's certainly a feasible situation, but they need to get points here. Here we go. This is potential for a big kill. A couple of kills over the top. Goes through for one. That's okay for now. There's still oh, just over two minutes remaining. Fnatic need two more dunks, and I think they're working towards their payloads. Once they get those payloads, it is going to change the game significantly. But Believe in Mayhem, they both have theirs ready to go, waiting in the wings. Believe's got that overdrive, and you better believe that that play could be happening soon. Mayhem could be making the camera play work right now. He's activated it. He's got a little bit of ground to cover, but this is in. It's good. No one's there to stop it. Two points. Fnatic, a little too slow. Just unable to keep up. Camo OP, man, there, there's really just not much you can do in that situation other than hoping your hit fire just connects and you get lucky with the kill. So uh, that's pretty damning as well because now uh, this is what a, a, at least a three, if not four possession game, uh, the three possession game, six points. We got this math, but uh, again, Fnatic, what can they really do? Uh, they'd have to just score, rally, score, rally, score. And I don't know, Wuskin's trying with the drone right now, but there just isn't much of a clearance. They got to pick up the kills, but Believe and Mayhem are there. And, and honestly, this is just way too much time wasted. Wuskin's doesn't even know what to do. Here we go. Wuskin's got to make a play. Got to make something happen here. Spoofy gets dropped there. Scraps now. Picking up the pieces on their way go. Tommy has drone in hand. He's going to make his way forward. Tommy, overdrive popped, but there's too many players in the way. Someone needs to slow it down. He gets cut in half by Mayhem. Clotheslined. Drone goes down, but they're moving it forward with the camo. Scrabs gets it in as well, but that was two payloads used. 30 seconds remaining. Are they going to be able to make this work? It's our prayer and a hope. Yeah, and I mean, you burn the camo with that little time left, and it's only for that first score when you got to get two more. It's just it's just not going to be enough. ALG would have had to have had a, a pretty monumental collapse. Uh, I know we saw a bit of an FTL choke earlier with the one-point play, but they're not going to choke uh, the big money match. So there you go, ALG. They're going to find themselves up two to nothing, but not before they kind of pumped up those stats just a little bit at the end. Oh, Nova's got to keep a hold of that one. 27 and 21 at the end of this one, so I do believe... He should still have the highest uh, uplink KD. Who cares? Honestly, they got the win. Uh, again, this is the absolute last thing that these players care about. So uh, Allegiance is a team that I don't think very many people at all would have picked to get out of the group. Well, now they've already qualified for top 16. And, and again, this is a $10,000 match. This is probably the most players, uh, the most money these players have made like in their entire career, right? Like obviously the biggest event, this is where the money's at. So they make this, they go to top 12. And frankly, this team looks, uh, I think a lot better than pretty much anyone would expect. Cause again, Fnatic, not a shabby team at all. And they just beat them 
quite handily, not only in the S and D, but in the uplink as well. Yeah, it's not too characteristic. I mean, uh, we're, we're not quite sure where to place these guys, but it's not characteristic of Fnatic to take, take such a pounding like that, given how good their performance was in groups to get them out of it. Still, we've got a hard point coming up next, which we did see Fnatic win the first time round. But at the moment, form is looking a little shaky. We keep going back to Sunny B. I hate to beat a dead horse. He ain't dead yet, but we're definitely going for him. He He's definitely, he needs to pick up the slack. Uh, again, it's, even if he picks it up, no one else can drop the ball, right? Because we saw Tommy, even in the search and destroy, he talked about the backbone that he is. Well, if you don't have a backbone, you're just going to collapse into mush, right? And so that was their problem in search. So uh, they just need all four players firing on all cylinders. And you can see the frustration in their faces. They know how difficult of a situation this is because, uh, again, they're saying, we got to force the game five. We got to force the game five. Well, search and destroy, you just got bodied. So, uh, again, it's a rough spot. And you see, ALG, they're feeling good, man. This is, they're on main stage. They're feeling good, fighting for top 12. Uh, and again, the underdog team, hard not to root for. You can see on your screen all smiles for the boys on ALG. And I'm sure you're wondering what the commotion is. You can certainly hear something while on the main stage, Rich Campbell has a t shirt gun, which is going to be all kinds of fun. Let's have a quick look at that scoreboard from the uplink. And here we go. Scraps, 24 kills, most on Fnatic. Not that many, is it? I mean, he's going 0.92 as well when you look at Mayhem on 1.43 KD. And as you can see, that first round, that's really where it fell apart, Chance. Yeah, and Mayhem was making big plays throughout, right? Like, if you go back to the moment where we talked about Believe, how he just did nothing for like a minute because he was going on a gigantic, gigantic flank, it, it was Mayhem that was under the portal that picked up, I think it was two or three pretty huge kills to prevent Fnatic from getting any points on the board. And those are the big momentum killers, right? Where you have an opportunity to score and you get oh so close, and then it's just all for naught, right? And so again, Mayhem making big plays throughout, a uh, fantastic player, we've come to find out. Super exciting stuff. We're almost ready to get into this next hard point. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see the crowd, sitting pretty, enjoying the show. Throwback hard point up next. to oh, Chance, you're gyrating or something. Tell me, what's what's on your mind? I'm just, like this really could have just been a straight up 3-0 where Allegiance won. Look at that, like 6-1, easy. Like that's not even a team. We just destroyed them. Are these like GB kids? Like who knows? And then like 9-3. to three. Granted, the score at the end kind of bumped up the score just a little bit, but still a, a pretty convincing win. And that hard point, they had 105 seconds on the bridge hill alone. That was about half their time, and they lost. Like the money hills again. Uh, I'm just going to go back and recap the series just to talk about it. It was the grave and broken hill the first time around. They had the setups there as well, and they just couldn't hold them for the life of them. So ALG, like, oh my god, they're so close to being able to throw 3-0 Fnatic. That's, that's just... I don't know. I, my mind can't like handle this. They have three one, and a win's a win. And again, if all Allegiance need is one more map. They're going to put another 10k into their prize winnings, and they will advance one round further. See the ALG fans in the crowd? There's three guys sitting together. I mean, they can't hear us now unless they've got headphones in. Three guys sitting in the crowd together, just like beating the chest and stuff, like watching the ALG on the Bravo screen next to them. Ah, it's good to see the fans coming out. It's nice to see fans who aren't just Optic fans here at COD Champs, because we know you're out there. We know you're listening, and we hope you can hear us. Fnatic playing for their lives here in the winner's bracket on this hard point on throwback. Give me a quick score, Charles. Give me a quick. What do you got? Do you uh, got? A lot too little. I say it's going to be about 250 to 170. And honestly, I think the Legions can do it. Uh, again, we kind of talked about the struggles of Sunny B. He's the man with the E-Rad. And, and of course, the E-Rad's on the other side of things. Well, that's going to be a guy like Mayhem. Mayhem obviously had a pretty good performance there on uplink Frost. So Frost, that E-Rad dominant map. Uh, throwback's kind of small, of course. Plenty of AR play. And there you see a little bit from Tommy as well. So I was talking, I have faith in Allegiance, But Fnatic, they are getting off to... Uh, a very fire start. Man, this is a clean start. That was uh, opening kills, all four down. They've got the time, and now they're winning the second bout. Can they keep a hold of this one? Tommy's still in the hard point. Finally dropped there. 21 seconds uncontested with the final 20 remaining on the hard point. This is Mayhem. We talked about him enough. And man, those E-Rad shots, super clean, super accurate. Unable to finally get that kill, though. And as we see, the final 10 seconds of scrap time will be falling into Fnatic. Scraps himself in that hard point, picking those up. And here's the next rotation around a barn. And ALG looking to get back onto the scoreboard. 
Well, believe knows. He's there. He knows Tommy was nearby. He picks up Sunny B. And Tommy, he's going to choke the kill as well. And that might be uh, very problematic for the squad. Of course, Waskin's able to pick up one. And they're flying at believe now. But he's continuing to pick up kills. And, and it cannot be understated how important these kills are. And he is still going. The man's on a five street. Three bullets in the clip. Bro, you got to reload. Get more kills. Go fisticuffs. Whatever you got to do. But find the kills. But at the very least, how much time is he wasting? Fnatic trying to run away. And he's not dying. This man hasn't moved more than like 10 feet. Five Finally, he leaves, but he's wiped out the entire team of Fnatic. And look at the score. Allegiance have completely taken on with it, and he's not stopping. The man's on seven. Get inside the hill. Go get you some cleanup kills as well. Of course, Mayhem from the side, but believe that is just fantastic stuff, man. Mayhem. It is just that. Believe is keeping it together. What a run, 7-0. and oh. And look at how many men Fnatic threw at him to try and slow him down. And he just took them one at a time, 25 away from Bombardment now. Oh, wow. This has just flipped this game on its head completely. Allegiance now totally in the lead, almost at 69, almost at, sorry, 60. And then Tommy and now, they've got to answer back in such a big way. Believe has just been taken down. I'm not sure if he got the bombardment by the end of that, but regardless, what a way to open this up. He didn't get the bombardment. He was 25 away from it, but he is picking up a couple of kills now and dealing the damage with that Trinity. And Wuskin, for some reason, thought it was safe to go outside. Such a fool. I, I mean, obviously, they're still cooking right now, but I'm actually very annoyed with that streak usage, right? He goes and challenges the gunfight just to call in the Trinity immediately in any way. Should have done that just to secure the bombardment, right? Or at least use it for a field like baseball. But... Either way, man, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They do have a very nice lead, and they're locking Bike Path down as well. And, well, if you paid attention to the Ghost versus C9, if you lock down Bike Path, you can just win the game essentially on this hill. But you got to do it almost perfectly. And you can see right now, Scraps trying to adjust for that. He's going for that contest time. And, well, it looks like they picked up the right kill on Mayhem. But then they just push into Spoof. And Spoof just bought his team about 10 seconds. That Fnatic just gave away for free. Well, Tommy in a very tough spot now. Trying to stay alive here. Can he win this fight? Does take down Spoof eventually. I'm surprised Tommy is still alive. He's been in an awkward situation for a while now. And man, the movement is on point. Does have a little bit of help from his friends. And now baseball field. We've got Allegiance now over half ahead. Fnatic is going to be pushing on through. Believe does get a nice kill there. Two in the back end for Fnatic. And this is a big push now. Allegiance trying to get in. If they can cut them from sides. Hit that flank. Shots out. Wuskin's through from behind. Holding on, but no one's in the hard point. No one's getting time, and there's going to be a big fight happening right on point now. And Wuskins, though, does get taken down. Spoof, once again, the 1v1 of that man is keeping his team alive. Fnatic really unable to get too many points out of this one as Mayhem's picking up another two-piece. Two in a row for him. Absolutely stellar work there from Mayhem. We talked about him enough. And with good reason, shots. I mean, yeah, it's really just everyone on, on Allegiant so far. Obviously, uh, it was believed that early on he got that hot start, got some streaks as well. But then Mayhem, even if you could say he had a, a tiny bit of a slow start, well, he hits right back up. So uh, all players right now, positive or even for Allegiant. And obviously, it, it's a kill-heavy game. They're looking fantastic. And Fnatic, again, they're just struggling. Sonny B, 5-12. and 12, We talked about it. You can't have a player lagging behind. Uh, and he's doing just that. So... I don't know, man. He, he's got to turn around the game, and he's got to do it now. If there's any time to do it, you're absolutely right. Now's the time. Spoof, 75 away from the bombardment, and he got a little bit too eager and maybe spilled his juice trying to get that one. This is Tommy now making a move from hard point. Does get the beautiful kill there on Mayhem. Lovely straight, but still finds his mark. Believe now answering back as well. 30 seconds remaining on train platform. Neither team able to make too much of this. And Allegiance sitting very comfortably ahead at the moment. This next set of rotations, if it's anything to go by the first, Allegiance sitting pretty. Well, making the rotation now. I, I mean, if you think just back to that first time around, uh, it was believed that completely went off over by Silo, right? Well, now it is Fnatic. They are going to be in control, but this is the hill where the game started to spiral out of control for them. So do on to others as others do on to you. They have control right now. They need to lock it down, but you see all three kills. Mayhem picks up two, and just like that, Fnatic, they had the full setup, and it gets broken essentially before it even really began. Uh, of course, now pushing all the way through this field side. The pressure's coming in. You see Mayhem is a little bit nervous about getting inside the hill. He expects the pressure from the back. Gets the camo as well. Doesn't even have to use it again. Mayhem, when he gets one, he finds the second. Going to get the third as well, and Allegiance are firing on all cylinders. Man, between Mayhem and Believe, this side of the map, I mean, Believe's the king of the silo, dude. He pulled a full Gandalf earlier and he said, you shall not pass to the entirety of the Fnatic squad twice over. And he managed to pick up all those kills and now Mayhem is doing the same thing for him. Tommy needs to get in there very quickly for his team. Sunny B, picking up a nice tag there on Mayhem. He's going to get the pick 
And now he's got to deal with these players on spawn charging through, and he's tucking tail and he's running for it. So the next rotation is going to be very important, but he's just second guessing himself for a moment. And Scraps is having to take on multiple players at the same time as they're rotating towards that hard point. I mean, man, this is a really tough fight for the guys on Fnatic, but they've still got a chance in this. This is Believe still locking down by path. Beautiful usage of the Scarab, if I must say. I mean, we don't see too many Scarabs coming out in hard points, but when they're good, they're good. Yeah, and now Fnatic, though, it's just they're pushing one by one. They're getting picked off. They're trying to contest, which is something they have to do, but not only do they need to contest, they need to go out, clear their opponent, and they need to get the rotation for the next side. Now you see the Trinity Rocket getting called in. He's able to get two, and he also forces another two players back. And again, even if ALG only contests for the rest of this hill, as long as they keep the spawn, they're going to be in a fantastic position uh, and again, right now, just all struggles for Fnatic. That's a fantastic usage of Trinity. That's, we saw one earlier today, which wasn't so hot. It was a little bit too fast and ready. But that one, slower pace, managed to get the job done. And in the end, flushing out those players is helping ALG maintain position here. 10 seconds left on Bike Path. And again, it's just a couple of guys contesting it. Tommy having the gusto and the balls to dive out there and get the kill. Scraps over the top. No one's able to make too much of this. And 155 to 90. This has actually been a very low scoring hard point game for the last few rotations. And that just goes to show how close these teams are at the moment. That was a camo play from Mayhem. Did he mean to pop that? Oh, 100%. It's zero hesitation as well. And that's what I like to see. You see Wuskins responds with two of his own. So Wuskins at least bought his team some time where they're not going to get punished for it. But Nova in the back line, he's got the MV4. He's posted up and he's ready to go. Able to get one. Makes the second as well. Has a little bit of pressure coming in from Bowling. But now his teammates, the reinforcements have come. But again, you talk about the camo play. I love to see it. No hesitation. Uh, it's not like one of those big breaks. But those are kills that are absolutely massive. And again, uh, you see right now, Scraps, I believe he has his camo as well, but if he doesn't even use it here to get the break, well, they're down by uh, nearly 100 points. Uh, if he had burned it earlier for this hill, who knows what could have happened. Here we go, Scraps. Camera play could be coming into effect here. He's got a player right behind him. He's going to tag him from behind. Even with that back shield, he's going to be pushing up Daisy Spoof. 20 and 7 right now. Believe coming in from behind as well. My goodness, all of ALG now are just demolishing Fnatic one by one, piece by piece. Peeling them like a banana. I believe now still running things not too far away from his kinetic armor. That's a seven kill streak for the young man. I mean, really spectacular work from Scraps. Camera play is not going to do too much. Tommy's now named him. My God, it is falling to pieces for Fnatic. I they had such a good start to the beginning of this series, Chance. I mean, they've just fallen clean off the wagon. The wagon's gone now. Their face is in the dirt. They've probably got an STD. It's not looking great. Uh, I mean, you just got to, like, take the horse out back and just shoot him. You just got to put him out of misery, right? Like, I just think this game is more than over. Uh, it's one of those things where, yes, we try and sell the game and say there's always the possibility to come back, which there is. But, I mean, right now, Sunny V, 11-27. Nova, I, I think he just got three kills back to back to back. They got payloads. They only need 45 points. And, and they could, again, stop playing for the next 60 seconds and just hide in a corner, and they could still probably win this game just by burning the payloads on this Barn Hill. But they've been playing this Barn Hill fantastic as well. Like, I just... Uh, Fnatic, as far as I'm concerned, they're done. Nova's fully streaked out. Like, everything that could go wrong has gone wrong and will apparently continue to go wrong. Well, if they can keep it going, this is looking good for ALG, but Fnatic, there's life yet in their bones. Full streaks and the Centurion for Nova, as you said. But again, it ain't over until it's over. It's pretty over. But it technically isn't over until they reach 250, and they're only 20 points away now. ALG sending this one home in a 3-1 after Fnatic have taken the first map. Spoof with two in the back end. It's getting hard to call now. Final ten points now. The final five will be an easy grab for Allegiance as Fnatic are nowhere to be found. It's a 3-1. Allegiance will advance as Fnatic fall to the loser's bracket. An extra $10,000 to the boys there in white on your screen. And yeah, it's high fives all round. My goodness, what a display chance. Fnatic. Not quite the squad they were at the beginning of the series. And, and you know what? I really need to go back and kind of look this information up from Anaheim. But again, ALG was the team that knocked out Envy. And in the very next tournament, Envy ends up placing second overall, right? So the question, of course, you said, well, Envy had an off tournament. But maybe ALG is actually good enough where uh, they, if they can force it to the game five, can beat these top teams. And I mean, clearly, they just took down Fnatic with ease. In every single game mode, the only game that they lost 250 to 237 on that first hard point. Then it was like a 6-1. Well, we can re recount the series, but I want to know who knocked ALG out from Anaheim. Like, I'm curious because, like, how good would the team have to be? Because, uh, again, they have proved themselves that they are absolutely contenders uh, here at COD Champs. Yeah, ALG, they can be hot and cold, and my God, they're certainly hot at the moment. Fanatico, discombobulated, disconnected, 
disassociated and they're gonna have to refine themselves in the lower bracket. You can see the, the look on all of them, heads hung low. Tommy doing what he can as the captain to try to keep the morale high, but they're certainly gonna have to do a bit of soul searching now. They will be playing that lower bracket game in the afternoon. So there's a chance for redemption there for the young Brits, but man, ALG, Woo! who's next? Well, I have no idea who's next, and we are going to be able to recap the series. <laughs>